All right, cool. So, and that brings us to chapter five, uh, tree nutrition and fertilization. When talking about tree nutrition, this refers to the um, elements and compounds that a tree requires to grow and thrive, right? So there's macronutrients and there's micronutrients. Um, so macros are hydrogen, uh, nitrogen, not hydrogen. I just wanted to take this moment and correct myself. Uh, phosphorus and potassium, some, some uh, micros. So the first one was macros, these are micros. Micros are uh, zinc, um, iron, and manganese. Um, fertilize, so if we suspect that a tree is lacking in these uh, elements or not getting a sufficient enough amount, we can fertilize, right? Fertilizer is a common way to provide these nutrients to a tree, um, but yeah, we have to consider a few things or else we can ultimately harm the tree instead of help it. So trees take up essential nutrients that are dissolved in water and absorbed through the absorbing roots and it's uh, transported throughout the tree after that. There's macro and micro nutrients. Macro, the tree needs in a very large like portion and micro, the tree doesn't need as large of quantities in order to survive. Um, nitrogen is commonly the one required in the largest quantity, right? And is essential for chlorophyll, which produces photosynthesis or is the chemical needed for photosynthesis to, uh, the chemical pigment needed for the photosynthesis to happen. Um, uh, if deficient, it can cause a reduction in growth and, um, the, the leaves will turn yellow kind of around the stem. This is called chlor, uh, yeah, chlorosis. The yellowing of the leaves is called chlorosis. Cool. So we deem that a tree isn't getting enough nutrients, right? So we uh, decide to fertilize, right? Proper application of the fertilizer is important to minimize environmental impact. Uh, if, in if applied in excess, um, this can cause water pollution through leaching, which is um, the chemicals washing out down through the ground, um, not like past the root um, bulb or whatever, the root zone, and getting into the water supply. It's pollution. It's not bad. Or it can be caught. It's not good, I mean. <laughs> or it can be caused from a uh, rain washing the fertilizer into like a nearby creek, lake, or river. So that's something we need to pay attention to, right? Uh, it's also very important to understand that each tree has their own like uh, nutrition chart, I guess you can say. Uh, uh, one species is gonna use more uh, elements and compounds than another species, right? So we need to have a good understanding of what the species of tree we're working on is and what it needs as far as nutrients and nutrients in order to survive. So we, that brings me to the um, fertilizer analysis. This is three numbers listed on the front of a fertilizer bag, right? And it is, um, it is, uh, it gives the percent of the nutrients by weight um, of each macronutrients in it, if that makes sense. Let's talk about it. Okay, cool. Hopefully you can see this. Um, so. I said that um, this gives you the percent by weight of the macronutrients, right? So what we can do, uh, for example, a 50 pound bag. So we got 50 pounds. Bag. Um, with an analysis of 20, 10, and Five. Okay, cool. So, um, this means what I use a little chart. I put pounds up top, then I do 
percentage of nitrogen, percentage of, uh, was it phosphorus? Yeah, what's the, yeah. Phosphorus and percentage of potassium. <laughs> right, so this is important. I hate math too, but we got we got to get through this. Um, so we got fifty pounds. <laughs> fifty pounds, and so. A percentage is essentially a decimal, 20%, right? You get your percentage by moving your decimal that way. 20%. So, we'll just write them all down. 10 and 5. Okay, if I remember right, it is you move your decimal yeah right there you keep it just like that so you take your handy little calculator and you go 50 times 0.2 equals 10 10 and then you just do that down the line so 10 or, nope, you do 50 times 10 equals, that's wrong, you do 50 times 0.1 equals 5. You do 50, so this is probably, this will probably mess some people up. You remember, there's a zero there, okay? My other GoPro just shut off, ignore that. <laughs> so you go 50 times 0 0.05, and that's 2.5. So for a 50 bag, uh, 50 pound bag of fertilizer with the analysis of 20, 10, and five, 20 hydrogen, no, 20 nitrogen, 20 uh, phosphorus, and five for potassium. We'll have a, um, this converts into 10 pounds, this converts into 5 pounds, and this converts into 2.5 pounds. This is all pounds, if you're trying to find the pound per bag. So, 50 times 0.2. 50 times 0.1 and 50 times 0 0.05. That gets you the pounds per bag. Cool, so hopefully that helps. Uh, there are multiple application techniques for fertilizing a tree as well, and they each come with their own pros and cons. Um, the first one is surface application, right? This is your typical, just apply fertilizer on the ground around the base of the tree. Uh, it's little granulars. It's this is what you see for people fertilizing their lawns with. It's just a, a um, surface application, right? Literally in the name. And a disadvantage of this is uh, the runoff. Like if your irrigation is putting too much water onto the fertilizer, or heavy rain comes, it can potentially run off into a nearby lake or stream or river, therefore uh, polluting it. So second is deep root fertilization, right? Uh, this method involves inject, like you drill holes into the soil and you inject a liquid fertilizer directly into the root zone. Um, it's a great way to fertilize. Obviously you're going straight to the root zone. You're guaranteed that the fertilizer is penetrating the ground far enough. Sometimes with the ground application, it doesn't get down as deep. The fertilizer and the nutrients doesn't get down as deep as it should. But um, you always run the risk of drilling past the root zone and ultimately doing nothing except for pollute, possibly polluting the water.
There's also foliage application, right? So this method is just mainly um, used for like a quick shot of micronutrients. Uh, it's used to just, it's like an in and out sort of thing from what I understand. Um, what you want, like you don't want to apply this in excess or else you run the risk of foliage burn or like fertilizer burn. And if you put too much on, that can ultimately kill the entire canopy, which will could be the de demise of the tree. <laughs> it's a high it's a high chance that that will kill the entire tree. So, yeah, just be careful with your foliage application. And it's used for like a quick shot of nutrients if the tree needs it. So there's also trunk implants, right? This method involves inserting a slow release fertilizer tablet into a small hole drilled into the xylem or the trunk of the tree. This is a more targeted method of fertilization um, as the tree can absorb the nutrients directly from the tablet straight into its bloodstream essentially. Uh, this should not be used on drought stress trees because uptake and distribution is best achieved when the tree is actively transpiring. Cool. All right, cool. So that's chapter five. Um, very dry, hard for me to follow <laughs> at some points, you know, but what I'm doing is I'm I just finished chapter five. I'm going back to chapter one, taking the test at the end of the chapter, doing chapter two, taking the test at the end of the chapter, then three, then four, and I'm going to do five and then start reading chapter six. And then the process will start over again for me. So cool. Yeah, that's how I'm doing it. Hopefully you grabbed something out of this video. If you're watching, I appreciate you. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll see you, you know. I'll try to get chapter six out soon.